Hello, and today we'll talk about the different brushes, painting, paints, pigments, and all the, the other things that I'm using on making an icon. And as the first thing is first, uh, we used to draw an, an icon for the first, and then proceed to the different brushes. As you saw in my previous videos, um, I used to draw icons with a yellow ochre, and this is the one that I'm using. It's a Mars yellow. It's from my Mary. And I use this with a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow. This is a simple yellow. And I used to make the draw for uh, the icon, the sketch. And the different brushes that I'm using, it's gonna be like that. Those are the ones that I'm using for uh, the all other things, but not faces. So like vestments, uh, the surrounding, different uh, mountains or anything like that and we'll count them like that we'll put them like that we have those brushes those are two brushes that I'm using for different vestments or clothes and uh, those two the big ones are the same I'm using them to to give the different layers you have to mix the water with uh, the color uh, so that you will have a very diluted a very diluted color and after that I will proceed on doing different layers of, of colors until I get to the final to the final step and those three here they are from Tintoretto most of them I'm using them to get the lines. So as they see, they are pretty. They are very. They are little. They have a little bump. It's having troubles with the focus. Those are the pencils that I'm using. The brushes that I'm using for the vestments. You will have a link in the description for them. And as for those. Those are for portraits. Most of them, they are um, from Da Vinci. And I gotta say that I have like three of them. I had them like for three years. Those three, three ones. I had them for quite a long time. And they are very, very, very good. Yeah, this is good. So you can find them in any shop. I will put a link in the description where you can find them. They are Da Vinci uh, Ma Maestro. Yeah, Master Da Vinci. Because Da Vinci has different quality types. I think there are three. <coughs> and uh, the, other, the other brushes that I'm using are for the different lines. For different lines, sorry. This is a... Uh, Kolinsky one. I think I have two Kolinsky one and two Da Vinci one, but different sizes, as you can see here. I'll put a link in the description for every every brush that I'm using. Uh, and I don't know if I if. Uh, uh, but I'm pretty sure that you can find them in any country because there's a lot of painting shops and you can find them. Uh, this area, it's uh, about gold. It's about the varnish that I'm using. It's about the preparing preparing the wood for the gold and the different things that I'm using for uh, getting the icon done, the last part. So the pigments and the different brushes those are the ones that I'm using for actually painting the icon and this is the more technique area for getting the icon ready here I have two brushes that I'm using to apply 
the dyxed Sherlock. This is the ones that I'm using. Okay. And this is very good to get a thin layer before you put the gold. So uh, you won't have any big scratches in your icons area and to prepare the surface for the gold. And you gotta, as you see here, this is a Da Vinci. It's a synthetic one, Wait, sorry. Okay, again, it's a synthetic Da Vinci and it's uh, very soft. And it's very good because with this layer, you have to get a soft brush in order to not have the the I don't know how to say sorry the the trace because if you, if you use a hard brush the hard brush will leave a trace so you don't need that you need a thin and soft brush for that and I'm using this one for bigger areas uh, this is from Divolo and it I gotta say it's uh, it's a new one. It's quite okay. It's good. After after you you prepare the wood for the gold, then you will use the gilding paste. And here we have two different gilding paste. It's they're different, very different. This is for 15 minutes. It's from Pebeo, and I used it a lot, and I had the best results with it. It's a very good gilding paste. Again. So it's from Pebeo, it's pretty good. And the other one, it's uh, a mixtion, mixtion, yeah, gilding paste from um, Charbonnel. This is a French one. And yes, it it's a very good one. It's a very, very good one, but this, it's for 12 hours. So if you have more time in doing the icon, this is the one to go because it gives you a way better quality of the gold surface, a way better color on the gold, uh, and a more goldish appearance. This one, it's uh, it's very good too. I mean, it, if you're not, uh, I mean, I don't know if you're not experienced, you won't see difference, but. I can see the difference and there it's it's quite big but this one it's doing a very good job it's doing a very very good job if you have like 50 minutes and you want to get that gold fast and gild it fast the bell gilding paste is the one to go and as I said there are, okay the brushes that you're going to use for the mixture on for the gilding paste are the same you gotta use as the same as the Gomalaka, like uh, the Sherlock. They're the same. You're gonna use a soft brush because you don't want to leave traces. This is one of the most important things on getting the mixture done. And uh, another thing that I'm doing, it's from my experience, it's to dilute the mixture, the gilding paste. I use a dilution like one by three, so one, one part uh, water and two parts gilding paste. Or for this one, you can use alcohol to dilute it because it's uh, it's alcohol based. It's not water based. Yeah, so that that's a big difference. Uh, I forgot to tell. The Pebeo gilding paste it's water based, and you can dilute it easily with water. And the other one, the Charbonnel one, it's uh, alcohol. You can dilute it with alcohol. After you, you got like three hands of mixed I'm, uh, I'm willing all the time to, to get three hands of mixed With this, you gotta wait 12 hours after you used it. Then you gotta leave the icon tw for 12 hours to, to rest until you can put the gold. For this one, you can wait like 15, max a half an hour and then you can put the gold after you're putting gold uh, you're using this microfiber to, to get the 
the polish to get a polished look on the gold and uh, why microfiber because you don't have want to scratch the gold and from time to time you want to switch the sides because the residues of gold are gonna remain on the microfiber and you can scratch it you gotta clean it very good after that you can use a uh, I know how to name this but uh, this is a molding paste but uh, you, you can use it in drawing and erase it's an eraser actually but it has a texture of uh, wax like that and I use it to get the excess gold as you can see it has a lot of gold on it and I use it to, to get the extra gold that remains on the icon and after that I have those two compasses this is one with uh, with a brush needle here I don't know how to name it but you can put your paint here like this you can get it and put here like that and then you can trace the, the halo the gold halo or with any color you can fill it with color so you can trace a halo and this is a simple one that I'm using to to make the the draw so those are the basics uh, the basic uh, brushes and all other things that I'm using I use different uh, different pigments I don't have only one as you can see here I use mimery here I have some pigments from mimery and this one is from my Mary too, but I have ones from Greece. If I uh, yeah, from Mount Athos, I, I used to buy from there. They're quite good too. I will give you the links on the description, and if you have any questions about any other thing that I'm sure that I haven't covered everything, more videos will come like this, and uh, I will be happy to help you with any other questions that you have so thank you very much feel free to share and if you need help I will be right there you can follow me on Facebook on Byzanticon or you can follow me on uh, you can give me a private message and I'll be happy to help you God bless you